I have received so many ColourPop items recently and I promised you guys I was gonna do a better job of covering their stuff. So I thought we would play, right? I have a new eye primer from ColourPop. I'm gonna play with the Rock Candy palette because a lot of you guys seemed interested. I have their smoothie collection, which has blushes, lip products, eye products that I probably won't get to since I'm using the Rock Candy. So I have a new glowing lip formula. Shit. Let's just play, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, let's get started. So first of all, huge thank you to ColourPop for sending these items my way. I mean, some of these items look really, really beautiful. Let's just take a look at like what's available, what we have. So they sent me this smoothie collection. It must not have been excited about this one because I didn't even see that it launched and I've been waiting and there's two blushes, two lippy scrubs that I'm gonna be giving away because I have so many lippy be scrubs we have five eyeshadow quads this is a big collection we have some luxe lip glosses so i have some of those we also have the rock candy eyeshadow palette that is available now that you guys were super duper interested in so i'm excited about that we have a new formulation i guess yes of the glowing lip formula which is now launched as of five days ago and i'm not going to be using this one today but i got this stunning palette the all amethyst palette this came out a couple weeks ago you know i'm keeping this one on looks stunning but anyways i guess we should just play let's talk about the rock candy palette because of all of the items this is what most of you seemed interested in this is 34 dollars what a bomb deal i love these palettes i think they're a really great option for you to get so many colors for a good deal and this is the cooler toned one so you know i am so excited about this now if you have a few of the other mega matte palettes i don't think you need this one one that just came out i haven't used this one yet like i told you i don't do a good job of covering my color pop stuff is the smoke and roses this one just screams bridal to me but this this seems very very similar so here is smoke and roses and then right next to it is rock candy you most definitely do not need both that's for certain I'm more partial to the rock candy though the rock candy has more mattes it's a little bit more neutral as well also reminded me a lot of the stone cold fox this is my favorite 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 of the mega palettes because look how cool it is the rock candy obviously is a little bit more mauve but they're very, very close, you know. So you probably don't need this one, but I'm still excited about it. Let's do some swatches. Oh, of course I'm wearing like the top that I can't do good swatches for. Hold on, let me unbutton this. <laughs> so I like how they have this layered through depth. I think that's really nice. I'm just gonna swatch a few. There's 30 shades. My arm won't fit 30 shades, but here's the top row of the lightest shades. Actually, I'll turn this down for you to see. Whoa, whoa, that, wow. Okay, that's <laughs> really amazing. The heck, for 30 bucks? And 30 shades? Okay, I'm gonna work my way randomly down here. No rhyme or reason. Now, ColourPop shadows are a little bit messy. They're a little bit more powdery, which I do accept given the price point, you know? Then let's try... There is some pressed glitters in here, though, so keep that in mind. Like, we have three, which I'm not that bothered by, but see how the deepest shades swatch? Oh, I didn't put anything on my pinky. Let me do a couple more. These are, like, the grayish tone shades that I thought would be pretty. I mean, these are pretty wimpy swatches, so excuse that, but I just kind of wanted you to get an idea, and they do seem like they're swatching pretty, pretty good. So here's a closer look at the palette. It is absolutely stunning. This palette is right up my alley, which is another reason I was so excited to play with it. But let me pop this on the eyeballs on one eye, and then we'll play, you know, you know the drill. I did like the exact look that you would expect me to do <laughs> with this palette. We went right down the row of the purpley tones, but honestly, those are some of the most difficult to formulate. So I just tested the hardest shadows. I'm actually gonna start off with this new eye primer. It's called the Party Proof Eye Primer. It comes in like a dofa applicator, and I can't say too much about this, and I don't think I will really ever have too much to say about this. I don't struggle too much with longevity of eyeshadows. I just, I don't have an oily eyelid. The only thing I'll notice is creasing, but there normally tends to be a number of factors for creasing. I don't get too bothered. But let's get this on our eyes. 
I'm gonna start off with a cool background. So let's go into I Dig You right here. This one is not too powdery, which is great. And I'm just going to blend that as the background color to really lay down the base that, hey, this look is going to be more cool today. So that's all we're doing there. I'm just gonna go ahead and stay with the same brush. And we're going into Lava You, which is my favorite shade in the palette, I think. This is super duper powdery though. I expect this a lot from ColourPop palettes, so just be aware of that. But as long as you expect it and tap your brush off, I don't notice too much fallout on my face or anything, so I'm not too bothered. But look how pretty that is, and putting that gray shade down first really helped emphasize like this is gonna be a cool look. I was wearing a smoky eye earlier today and I was feeling a little out of my comfort zone so I'm so happy <laughs> to be putting on my favorite colors and I'm going to put this along my lower lash line obviously this palette has a lot of colors so I'm gonna have to continue playing with this before I give you guys my final thoughts but as of right now with the few shades that I used really love this do you wish they had a plum or something? Like, I feel like all of these shades right here could have been something else. They kind of look the same. So that is definitely a flaw of the palette. I'm going to go into Dynamic right here, the Darkest Chocolate Brown. I wish that one was more plummy, but whatever. It's not that serious. And I suppose this does have a more purple undertone, though, because it really does blend in seamlessly with that mauve shade that I used. Anyways, very basic look today, though. Run this along the lower lash line. This is a Luxie 229 brush, by the way. It's one of my favorites for the outer corner color. And then I definitely wanted to play with the black. This is Hot Spot, and I'm using a Morphe M562. This one isn't too powdery, but I didn't feel like getting any on my shirt, so I put the palette down. And I'm going to circle this in the outer corner. Then also put it all along my lower lash line. I figured we could do something a little bit smokier. This is the key to any smoky look. Whatever the darkest shade that you're using is, just run it right along that lower lash line and instantly you will be super smoky and then I'm going to blend that. I'm taking a little bit more of our original transition color because I want to bring out more of the purple in this look like so. I'm probably gonna have to deepen up this eye because I definitely went more smoky <laughs> with this. Okay, we had to go into some of the shimmers. So I'm using some of Pep Talk. This doesn't have as pigmented of a base as I want, but you can see it still looks absolutely gorgeous over the eye, perfectly complements the tones that we just used. So I do like how they kind of laid it out look by look if you want to stay in the same color family. I do feel the same way that I feel with a lot of these palettes though. It's that some of the shades are definitely redundant. A lot of similar shades, but it's looking good. Now we're going to go into Chemistry. This is the star of this palette. Look, it's so dimensional and it just brightens up the look. Super pigmented. We'll probably get some fallout with these because they aren't sticking to the eye the greatest, but they do wipe off easily, so I'm not quite so bothered. <gasps> How pretty. And then the last step, I'm just taking a little bit of friction right here, which is just like a shimmery white. We're gonna brighten up the inner corner and underneath the brow. And how pretty is this look? Super reflective, very nice. I'm going to do some liner and lashes and we'll get back to the rest of the stuff. Whew. I like this palette, you guys. At least the look that I created today, very easy to use. I mean, I think it's a steal for $34. All of the shades that you get, uh, some shades are redundant, like I said. But overall, it's very pretty if you need those shades. I would prefer Stone Cold Fox. But let's go over some of the other eye products that I have just to show you. I'm not going to put them on. Just so you know what's available, this palette, all amethyst. I'm really excited to play with this. I wish I had more eyeballs so that I could use this one today. Look how pretty this is. I love the tones here. Let's see. Honestly, I can tell you already the colors in the Mega palette feel a little better. These don't feel as nice to me feel a little dry. Okay, let's try these three now. Yeah, the mattes. Well, at least that pink is really, really pink. I wish it was more purple. Okay, this last row, these kind of grayish tones can be difficult. <gasps> I love them though, they're so pretty. Yeah, 
It's not giving me what I want it to give me. It looks really soft, but we'll see. I'm gonna play with this this month and I will have it in next month's monthly palette ranking, but it, it does look super pretty. And in the pan, I think it looks even prettier. We'll see how that ends up looking on the eyes. Um, and then, like I said, the smoothie collection had like five quads. I'm not gonna swatch all of these quads because I can tell you right now, strawberry sweet right here, I'm gonna give away because I just, I don't need that many <laughs> pink. Then we have Acai You Baby. I'm considering that one. On the Mango looks really, really cute. Ooh, I want this one. Star Fruity. It's like greenish. And then Feeling Coconutty. This one looks really great. I am going to hang on to Acai You Baby, Star Fruit, and Feeling Coconut. I'm not gonna swatch these because a lot of times my ColourPop stuff goes unused and I'd rather not swatch them so that at least if I don't use them, I can give them away. <laughs> also in the collection, there's a couple different lip scrubs. We have like a Coco Loco and then a By the Bush. So like a strawberry and a coconut flavored. I have so many lip scrubs open right now. These are going to be given away. Sorry to disappoint if you wanted to see them. What I am going to swatch for you though are the blushes. Love ColourPop blushes. So we have really cute ones. This one is Swirled and then we have Toffee Cake. I don't know about Toffee Cake. This one might be too deep for me, but let's take a look. So here's the packaging. Even though ColourPop didn't even like market this collection, how pretty. Okay, I'm not gonna swatch this. I'm gonna save this to give away to somebody who has a deeper skin tone than me. It's not trying to be wasteful, but I guess we will put on a little bit of swirled because I know that this one is more my color. This is not gonna go with the look though, so just prepare yourself for that, but how pretty. It's like a baby pink. Really cute. So I'm gonna use my Isom G53 and pop this on. Oh, so pretty. I mean, ColourPop is a great route to go if you're looking for an affordable blush. I really do love their blush formulas. These are nice and matte, so you can manipulate them with other products to make them more shimmery. That's gorgeous. Love this blush. Very cute. But again, ColourPop comes out with like a zillion blushes, so I don't know if you need a new blush <laughs> or if this is that unique of a color, but it's really cute. And I don't think it is completely mismatched with my look, so I like that blush. That's nice. Okay, we have a few lip products to try from the collection as well. These are Luxe lip oils. I thought they were lip glosses. I'm gonna keep a couple of them and then I'm gonna give away a couple. But how pretty do they look? So we have Hey, Playa Vista, Cosmic Click. Sorry, that's out of focus. And Hot Spark. I'm, of course, going for the more neutral colors. <laughs> well, this one would go the best with my look. Maybe this one though. Okay, let's see. I'm not keeping the hot pink one. This is Cosmic Click. It's too hot pink. I don't wear lip colors like that. So let's see how Hay looks. Oh, so these don't have too much color, which is nice. Never tried this formula from ColourPop. It doesn't have a scent. Mmm, really comfy. I like this. It's not as thick as the Dior, and I feel like it's not like plumping like the Dior. Not that the Dior plumps, but you know what I mean. It makes the lips look bigger. This is a little bit more lightweight. Ooh, I like that. Okay, they're pretty sheer though, so I'm gonna give away Hot Spark. But Playa Vista's up my alley. This is kind of the color I wear. If you buy these, you definitely don't need all of the colors. They're too sheer. Very pretty and they feel super duper hydrating. So I like these. This is it for the video, you guys. These are the other new products. I'll do these ColourPop videos periodically just so that you can see what's out there because ColourPop is so hard to keep track of. We have these glowing lip products. I have a lot. I'm not gonna swatch all of these. I don't know, if you like the ColourPop videos, then eventually I will start swatching all of these, but I'd rather just give the ones I'm not wearing away. You can see at the range though that we have lots of different ones. So let me pick out the colors that I think I will wear. I'm picking out like all the lightest ones. So here's the packaging of these. Let's see what the texture is like. So this is the shade Cockatoo. <laughs> this one will be really pretty with my look. Ooh, yeah. This is a very trendy formula. Elf has one. Her beauty is like glowing balm. Let's see. They don't give too much color. At least this shade. Mm, 
I don't think I love these, honestly. They kind of smell like a chapstick from your childhood. That's actually exactly what it smells like, chapstick. Interesting. The color does build. Let me try one more color to see. I'll use like a darker one. Oh, it tastes like chapstick. This one looks nice and bright. Let me try this one. Girl, please. Oh, wow, this is dark. <laughs> Oh, these do have some pigment though. Nice. Don't love this color with my look, but I don't know how I feel about these. Think of like the Fenty and the Rare Beauty. Those are a lot more glossy. These have a little bit more staying power. And I'm thinking even of the e.l.f. formulation. These also have more color to them. They're not quite as glidey, but I think that's going to help with wear time. They feel super duper moisturizing though. So that's kind of nice. I don't think this is a formula I'm gonna reach for a ton, but neat. I'm happy I tried those. I mean, okay guys, I'm... <laughs> This video was super duper casual today. I've just been feeling a little not overwhelmed. I'm completely grateful for the packages, but I've been feeling like, oh my gosh, how am I going to talk about all this ColourPop stuff? So I just wanted to sit down, weed through the packages that I had and kind of pick my faves. Right now, I think I like the eye primer. I'm gonna continue playing with this. The lip oils, really great formula. I'm sure it's super affordable. The glowing lips, not in love with, but I don't dislike. Love this blush in Swirled. Super duper pretty. Oh my gosh, I think this is my favorite thing. If I end up, and I might not because I have a lot of ColourPop quads in my collection as it is, if I end up playing with these, I will let you know in an eyeshadow palette rankings. And then of course I'm going to continue playing with this rock candy, but I do also really, really like this palette. It's just a matter if you need it or not. Oh, and all amethyst, didn't like how it's swatch, but this is another one that is on my radar to try. What should I call this? Cause it's just, it was just a casual sit down, but I guess I'll call it like what's new at ColourPop and then I might do these videos periodically. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. Let me know your thoughts below. Is there anything that you're interested in picking up? And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one. Oh, okay, a little behind the scenes. I like these glowing lips now. I'm gonna show you what I just did. I wasn't too sure about them on their own. I'm using the Lippy Pencil in the shade Oh Snap, one of my all-time favorites, by the way, from ColourPop. Beautiful lip liner. So when you put a lip liner down, it really does create a nice base for this. This is the shade Cockatoo. It's not so pretty and it made my lips look instantly hydrated because they was looking very dry. So with the lip liner, ooh, I really like this. I'm actually gonna go back through some of the ones they sent me and pick some more out because how beautiful. Okay, for realsies, buy now. Wait, 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 not buy now. Let me put a lip oil on top. Let's do it. Oh, super hydrated. Ah, I love it. Okay, bye.